Hello everyone, welcome to F2 in Vietnam. It's a little bit dark. So we're expecting some uh, great, great race today. few guys heading out strong grid again with Cobal baseball stud has been promoted to the F2 series the really dominated the tier 3 race last race we decided to move him up why is Frank F1 even driving the Ferrari I don't think that's his usual car. Very curious what Zico can do, the last, last race winner in the F2 series. And also this tier is so freaking close, so... Uh, which also a strong candidate for pole position again in the McLaren, showed some great performances throughout the season, has improved a lot. Straight Razor is back on the grid. Let's have a look at this. I think it's Frank Efron. Frank Efron is the one to follow. A little bit wide there. And I think everyone is going for the softs. Except IP. Let's have a look. The first one to set the time, Frank Efron. Except for IP, I think. And a 135.9 is the first time to beat. With Hulls, a 135.9 as well. No, 136. I can't follow everyone. Uh, let's have a look at Raz, who is. Got himself to third place. And Arrow is improving really quick. And Witcher with a 134.7. Good time from him. Let's have a look at Gmail. Heading into the last game. Frisky goes to second. Look at Gmall, and Gmall goes to second now. 
Good time. With Zico into third. And Cole Baseball Stud is, is sitting in P9. The debut of him into tier 2. Let's have a look at straight Razor. What can he do? 135.2. Good time from him. Into the top 6. He goes. And Coker invalidated his lap. If it's, got, if it's gonna be a dry race, then I think the two-stop strategy will work. I think the hearts are a little bit too slow when the field is so close. When you have exceptional pace, then a one-stop will work, but I don't think the one-stop strategy will work in this tier. Pinnacle goes eight fastest. And the top six is within a second. And Selvanic is on his outlap in the Red Bull. Fisky is doing another lap. And there goes Salvenic. Let's follow him for this lap. Uh, purple sector one here. Let's see what Selvanic can do. And a purple in sector 2 again. So he is, if he keeps it clean in the last sector, he is going to set a provisional pole time here. Looks clean and smooth till now. Oh, a little bit wide here. Let's see, what can Selfenic do into the last, and he can't, he messed it up at the last corners. I believe in the last sector and he goes fifth fastest in the Red Bull Let's have a look at IP who's on an uh, odd lap I mean having a very fast sector 2 And now the, the hardest part of the track is kicking in for IP. Oh, invalidated. Oh, he will be mad. Let's have a look at the other Alpha Tower driver, Johnny. Oh. Who 
hasn't managed a lap yet. So we are all very curious what he can do. Are there any improvements? Not yet. And Johnny heading into the last sector. Oh, and there he goes, Johnny. Oh, that's not a fast time for him. He puts himself into P14. And let's have a look at Quoker, who is also into the last oh, I don't continuing his lap no he's not continuing let's have a look an arrow improved he goes to second fastest in within one thousandth of a second, well, eight thousandths. And let's have a look, GMOS also improving. The current P3. Let's see if he can have a good last sector here. Oh, that's a little bit wide, but let's see, it's still within the track limits. Last. Oh, he does just a little bit there. Oh, and it's not going to help him. Oh, no. Still P3 for Gmall. Let's have a look if Pinnacle is improving. No, he isn't. Uh, yes. What can he do? He's getting into the pits. The Super Eagle is probably also going into the pits. And let's have a look at Skullface who is 3 tenths up on his current time. And I'm thinking a priority on Frank Efron who puts himself two tenths up on his current time. And which is also improving with a 134.4. Good good time from which again. Dominant within tier 2 is about and Frank Amper moves up to P4. Let's have a look at... Let's have a look at Salvanic. Outlap. Journey improved, by the way, to P10. Oh, that's a small touch to the wall from full baseball. That's of everyone is pitting now, and a few guys are out. And Hills is getting ready to set his lap. Vanek on a hot lap now I think with less ears left oh 
Oh yeah, he is going pretty quick now. With five tenths up on his current time. Let's see if he can get it done in the last sector. The hardest part of the track. Oh, there's some mistakes here. And let's see if he can manage. Oh, pretty big mistakes at the end. But he puts himself into P3. Still, he improves, and that's the only thing that matters. Oh, Russ has spun, and he left the session. And that puts him into P12 now. Oh, and there goes Poker to P6. Good time from him. Totally missed that, I'm sorry. And Hulse also improved a lot. Into P6 now. Oh, everybody is improving. The other has driver, go baseball. It's on an outlet right now. So is Aero Blake. Oh man, top the top nine, the top ten are within eight tenths right now so Frank Efron decides to retire the session and Zico the last year's race winner it's three tenths up on his current time that is not enough for pole position let's see if he can manage to put a great sector 3 where a lot of drivers are struggling because these corners are really tight for the hands And that looks really good from him. A little bit of oversteer there. And let's have a look if he can. Oh, he got a great last sector there. Within one tenth of Witcher and goes to P2. Oh, Arrow. Oh, Arrow spun. Oh, oh Arrow Blake spun. Hopefully, he's not. Oh, yeah. think he's going for another run and I think let's see if Frisky can improve no he is still let's have a look if he can improve himself oh that's so close to the wall there He bit, I think he got a, a, bit, a big heartbeat there because those walls are so close in Vietnam. Let's have a look if he can improve. He can but it's not enough and he stays in P10. And is Quoker still improving? Yes he is. Within a 10 so... That might get him a place up. A mega left from him. If he can manage to put that without less ERS. Oh, we can! What a great left from Poker with less. with a, a, a really low on ERS, managing a great left. So, good job from him. And Zico is diving into the pits, and I think that's our qualifying session for today. With which another pole, good job from him. He is the qualifier in tier 2 here. Zico really close behind him, the last race winner into P2. Did a good job with Arrow crashing into his last lap, into P3. 
Oh, good, good job from him, and it's the, the field is really close. IP said he didn't like his this track to be honest. So within within five tenths, that's I think an amazing job if you don't like the track. With Hulse, the reserve driver, into P8, and Frank Efron P9, and also Frisky into P10 and that was our top 10 looking forward to the race well let's continue with the P11 from Panacol P12 from Cole Baseball Stud yeah, he, de he deserved his place here and look at how close the grid is until P14 within a second. So this race is about to get started with it. everyone so close here. And P15 for Johnny, P16 for Raz, 17th MG and skull phase into P18. And I'm really curious about what all your predictions are for today's race. As you see, it's really close, so predictions are really hard. But I'm really asking, what do you guys think and what will be the, the, the top three today? Um, leave it in the comments into the stream. So. Ah, Juni boy, you 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 can get this. Start on the mediums, have a long stint, and let's get some points today for the Alpha for the, for the Alpha Tower team today. You can do it. Yeah, and we're off and running into the formation lab. Vietnam is carnage, so tier, the turn one is going to be an interesting one. A lot of incidents in the past races I've been racing here, so we'll definitely very interesting if everyone can keep his front wing Quoker I have to tell you you're the goat man now show your fans that you're the it's very close between um, the top 10 drivers and P14 is also within 8 tenths so the grid is really really close and will that's a, that's a very a very good question will the medium runners outside the top 10 be benefited with this because they are so close on pace will they be benefited with this that's that's the, that's the question
was very, very curious if Zico can catch Witcher in the race as well. This seems really close. I'm not counting out Arrow to be honest. It's all about the race pace now and not about qualifying pace. Look at the tires already starting on the mediums except for Raz. And everybody is lining up now, I think. And yes, here we go five red lights, and away we go. And which has a great start. In front of Zico. Oh, what's happening? Witcher, yes, there he is. And he managed to keep P1 with Zico it diving into the inside here. What a great move from Zico here. But is Witcher going to leave him? Yes, he is, but is doing the switchback. Switchback move from Witcher here. What great racing by them. Oh, it's so close. Zico. Zico into the wall there. And that's unfortunate because he did do this. Witcher didn't do anything wrong. It was Zico's fault that he got into the wall. And with Salvenic on the outside of Arrow. And what a great move from Salvenic here. Salvenic into P2 and what a great start from him. With Arrow doing the switchback here. Is he going to let it stand? No, Salvanic got his P2 and which is low loose. Now which has to, to calm him and oh Zico has some serious damage. Left front wing is totally broken. And Poker having some Wispin hulls onto the tail. Oh the last sector. And with Gmo overtaking him and Zico into the pits with Hulls also diving into the pits. And we don't have any safety car yet. And what's going on here with Quoker into P4? Is he going for the podium today? That's going to be an interesting one. Oh, what happened to... Yeah, no, which is still in the lead, so don't see the standings. They're wrong. A Sylvanic into P2. And Arrow closing up on Sylvanic. With Gmo really close to Goker in the, on the inside here. It's a really, really good move from him. There. And it's Goker now into the arrest range of. And Cole Baseball still also had a great start and now on the tail of Pinnacle, the promoted tier 3 driver. And Quoker and Gmo are fighting. But Quoker isn't giving away his fourth, fourth place. And Ress also made some quick quick improvements into P8 already with Johnny also into the points now and Skillface who made a great start into P11 already oh a little bit right and goes off track and dives into the pits because he lost his front wing unfortunate for him straight razor had a bad 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 start so had Frank Efron. With Gmo already having a 5 second time penalty. Really curious about what he did wrong. 
and it's Gmo do getting the overtake done on Quoker. Good job, great move from Gmo here. And behind them, it's a small train with both Force India drivers into P4 and P5. And Cole Baseball is Cole is showing some great pace on the mediums here. And has DRS enabled and doing some great moves here. And is he going to make it stick on Pinnacle? Yes, he can on the inside. Oh, that's a little bit. Nope, not giving any room. And Res is the one who benefited. And that was a risky move from Cole, but he made it stick. And Pinnacle is really, he wants to get him back. Because I know Pinnacle and he doesn't like this. And we have a yellow in sector 3. Who lost it? For now, no one, and which is really showing some good pace here in Vietnam. And Silver Eagle is pitting. I think he must have lost his front wing. But which tire is he going for? It's, he's going, he's switching to hard, so he will definitely try to get this till the end. And Salvenic is pitting. Also lost. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Salvenic. That's really unfortunate for him. What did he do? Yeah, he spawned Salvenic. Let's have a look. With Cole really close to rest and showing some great pace here into tier 2 this is the fight to watch right now the guys are within the rest range of other so Res is losing DRS on Quoker and Cole is really closing up on and Res is into the pits with Pinnacle really close now to Cole and Pinnacle wants to get his position back to him let's have a look at Hulse and Zico Hulse also pitted for the hearts. Let's see the tires at the moment. Silver Eagle and Hulse decided to go to the end on the hearts. It's a very interesting strategy from all of them. And Zico has managed to set the fastest lap. On fresh medium so he will definitely go for the soft medium medium strategy and Pinnacle is now looking here to overtake Cole but Cole is really close to Quoker here has the rest is Cole making the move here yes he can and he made it stick and got the move done Cole into P4 great debut from him with some great overtakes and Pinnacle is forced the Force India team having some team orders here to let Pinnacle through because he's definitely on the faster tire with Raz and Hulse battling it out both drivers of F1 from previous year and Hulse is keeping the inside and Raz did a good number let's have a look at Pinnacle really close to his teammate Quoker he's definitely asking him 
to go away because he's faster. But let's see if team orders play a role here. Not yet. Might let him go through on the straight. Oh, Coco with a small, small mistake. He's close within four tenths. Having DRS enabled. Is it enough for the overtake move? Oh, we have A and it's Arrow. Oh, it, did he lose his front wing? No, he's lucky he didn't. And Cole is showing some great pace here. Good job from Cole. Managing out of trouble and having sight on the podium. Pinnacle still behind his teammate. And his teammate dives into the pits. Oh, Quoker gets a picks up a five second time penalty. But that's that's the positive thing about a two stop strategy. He will definitely serve his penalty in the next pit stop, so then he will lose his five second penalty. Frisky still gaining now at the back of Johnny. Both guys didn't pit yet. Fighting Frisky and Johnny. Frisky picks up another line and he will stay at the back of Johnny to pick up his DRS. And I think Johnny will be a sitting duck here. Really close racing by them. And it's Johnny making it stick. Oh, a little bit of touchy there. And Johnny keeps ahead of Frisky here. But is Frisky keeping it on the inside? Yes, he is. Oh, and there he got it. He got Johnny. And panic. Goal. An arrow have pitted also for the mediums and which is pitting onto the mediums and with Gmo with Cole is gaining on Gmo here so the right tire is the mediums when they are seven laps old so the outside top 10 is definitely making a good step to start on the mediums. And let's see the gaps with Quoker really closing up on holes, both pitted. Quoker on the G, so he definitely wants to pass holes here. Because holes might be going for a one stop. Let's see if he can pick up DRS. He can.
Let's have a look. Call into the lead. Sorry, my TV went up. Really strange. With Cole into the lead now. Winning in F3 and leading the F2 race. It's a good job from him. But Witcher is already pushing and pushing. Let's have a look. Journey in the back of Frisky. And Silver Eagle has been passed by IP, I believe. And we're only nine laps driving at the moment, so. Definitely very curious what all these guys can manage to keep it out of the wall. It's Frank Efron who's passing. And we've got a yellow in sector 3. And oh, Hulls lost his front wing. Total front wing. His full front wing is... That's unfortunate for him. Let's see which tires he is going to put himself. With a front wing change. And Arrow is on the back of. Can he make the move? Yes, he can on the outside. Oh, a little bit out breaking himself. That won't help him. Oh, better traction with newer tires here for Arrow. We have Frisky on the back of Straight Razor here. And g is also really close to MG. These guys have been battling, battling a lot in the pre-season race. I was happy to commentate that one because it was a lot of fun. Great move from g -Mall. Into P5 again and already really close to arrow Gmo is really close to him is on three lap old one lap old mediums Pushing but 9.3 seconds behind Witcher, and Witcher is looking so really, really strong on these on this circuit. That that's is really quick. And for now, without mistakes, and that's also really, really important.
Let's have a look at Gmo. Heading towards. And we have a ye double yellow. Who has spun? It was Skullface. And will this be a safety car? It's going to be very interesting because that will help the lead. For sure. And with Gmo is really close to, uh, to Arrow now. We still have a yellow in sector 2. So I'm very interesting how long this will be taking. And we have Witcher and oh, taking the lead again. And Cole into the pits. Having a run on the softs as is Panacle. I think it will be a medium soft, soft strategy. And let's see how it works out for them. We have Salvenic really close to his team right now. Salvenic who is having a better run. Because he's on the medium tire and Silver Eagle will try to extend it. Oh, I think Salvenic has let his teammate through. And MG really close to Johnny now on fresh shafts. Oh, and we have Gmo spinning. Oh, and losing his front wing. This will be very interesting. Oh, it's Gmo who hits the wall and is out of this race. Oh, what what a shot is this? Look at his wheel. And we have a virtual safety car. But he's in the middle of the track. And we have a virtual safety car. This is going to be interesting. And people pitting now. Yeah, Raz, Frank Efron are all pitting. And Gmo hits the wall here. He had such a great pace. And Cole is getting into the podium positions now. Really curious what he can do. Having both pit stops, I think, putting himself onto the softs, and that will be an attack strategy. And let's have a look at the positions one. Oh, with Arrow even having a 3 second time penalty, so he's in P2 at the moment. Let's have a look at the positions with Cole in my position, also a good race. 7 positions, MG 11, with Raz having not winning 9 positions. So Vanek lost 4, Silver won 5. And Johnny is the only one who won two positions outside of top three. And Cole is already really close now to Hero. Look at how close he is. Oh, a small. Small lock up from Arrow. 
doesn't want to make any mistakes. So let's see if he can make it thicker. That's oh, is at the back, catching him with the rest now for him. But let's see what Cole can do, and let's see if he can get the gap to Witcher. Witcher is driving a lonely race now. Oh, 9.8. He is gaining and gaining on Witcher. Having a faster sec 2 here. Pentacle also really close to Arrow. Let's have a look at the tires at the moment. Arrow has 8 lap old mediums and Pentacle has 1 lap old mediums. And Quoker and Frank Efron are battling it out here. With Johnny really close now. Pitted for fresh softs. Cole is having a really quick lap times now. Already 8.5 seconds. And last lap it was 8. Point, I think 9.9. And is that something to Keep in mind that the end of the of this race will be very very close between them. With MG really close now on Res. Res on the mediums MG on. So he's definitely benefiting it. And there he goes, MG, having a look on the outside of Res, doing the switchback. 